You are now watching Color Me Crypto, digital cash decoded. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And if you enjoy the video, visit us on Patreon for exclusive content. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome to another episode of Color Me Crypto. Let's go. So this video is to warn people on Ethereum about this website called void.cash. And I'm just going to give you a little background first before I even get into it. So press release from the United States Department of the Treasury, U.S. Treasury sanctions, notorious virtual currency mixer, tornado cash, Washington today, dated August 8th. The U.S. Department of the Treasury's Office of Foreign Assets Control sanctioned virtual currency mixer tornado cash, which has been used to launder more than seven billion worth of virtual currency since its creation in 2017. This includes over 455 million stolen by the Lazarus Group, a Democratic People's Republic of Korea, DPRK, state-sponsored hacking group that was sanctioned by the U.S. in 2019 in the largest known virtual currency heist today. I don't know if that's the biggest. I think there was, there's bigger ones than that. But um, uh, that's a little bit of background. And then we go here. Tornado Cash Developers Arrest in the Netherlands Draws Community Protest. After the detention of Alexei Piersev, campaigners were holding developers accountable for malicious use of their code could have a dangerous chilling effect. So th this is the website here. I'm, I'm warning you right off the bat, in my personal opinion, this is a scam. I do not think you should put any money towards this website or protocol. I think if you do, you will lose your money. That is, that is just my personal opinion. Um, if you have already interacted with the smart contract, please feel free to comment whether or not it is a scam uh, based on your experience. So I'm going to get into why I think it is. And um, first and foremost, they use a, a similar color scheme to Tornado Cash. Um, that's like a technique where like a scammer might like it's kind of like building trust. So they'll want to like basically pick something that you're familiar with. And in this case, it's the color scheme of Tornado Cash, which was uh, black, green, and white. Uh, the website pretty much only had those three colors. And um, also, this is a big red flag to me when I go down here to the about. Void.cash aims to be the leader of the decentralized anonymous transfer protocols based on the Ethereum network. Very little, um, virtually non-existent about. Um, that's, a, that's a red flag to me. If I if I click on press and privacy, also nothing will come up. Um, again, red flag. Um, if I'm trying to make some quick money, really quick, really fast, I'm not going to spend too much time on the about section, on the press or the pri the privacy. So those those three things right there kind of have me wary of of connecting to this website. So I'm going to click on try it now. It'll take me to the um, interface where I can deposit ether how much I want to deposit and then on the withdraw I'll put in the note which I will only get a note if I click deposit I'm not gonna do that um, do not connect your wallet either until you actually trust this site personally I don't think you should connect to this website with your ethereum or, or any sorry your metamask or any web3 wallet also go here to the Twitter a decentralized protocol for anonymous transfer and then here's the contract. I'm going to copy the contract number so we can um, do a little deep dive, I guess. Not not too deep, but I'll go to Etherscan. And now all I'm going to do is paste in that contract, and it should pop up. And it is void deployer at transaction token tracker. So people are using this protocol. Um, they're sending money to it. Let's see internal transactions. Yeah, so people are using this protocol. It is interacting with um, other addresses on the chain. Here's the contract here. I am going to leave uh, uh, this URL here for the uh, code. So if you want to read the contract um, you can read it another red flag to me is that there is no uh, security audit submitted um, 
I believe anyone could submit an audit, but that's that's a red flag to me that that this code has not been audited before. And all the audit would do is say if there's any like security vulnerabilities or things like that. And and kind of also as help to establish trust. If I click on this, it'll actually say some of the uh, potential vulnerabilities it has. Some of these are are low, very low severity, medium, medium severity. So basically, this code has not been reviewed by anyone. Um, and it's if it has been reviewed, that review has not been made public. I'm going to click on their um, Telegram now. This is the portal to our only Telegram. Um, any other channel posing as void cash or anything similar is a fake. So I don't know if it's going to open up on this computer. I, I open it up on my uh, one, but we'll see. I'm going to click on their medium. <clears throat> so um, the, the red flag here on the medium to me is that basically this medium popped up only two weeks ago. Well, not even not even two weeks, not even two full weeks. It's, it's came up 12 days ago. And if you uh, remember, the press release from the Treasury was on the 8th. Their medium pretty much opened up on the 10th and it already has four followers. And two of the people on this list, Go 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 and Olamide, they actually follow each other. And there's nothing too alarming about that, but they follow each other and they have not um, posted anything. I might be wrong. It might be go 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 and uh, someone else, but let me click Olamida. So and and also he has a web developer background. He has a follower despite having no content, which I get that in itself isn't too big a deal. But go 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 go. Then we have R. And then the last person we have was um, Mike Tip Personal who has two followers that are not following the torn project as of yet I assume they will at some point but yeah um, and just so you know this website is fresh like brand new which doesn't necessarily mean it's a scam but I just find the timing of, of its uh, coming up to be um, a little bit spooky I guess a little bit um, concerning so let me see I'll go to dnschecker.org and I'll just type in void.cash and I'll let it look up so here's the public IP and then I'm gonna do the who is look up Okay, awesome. So we have the internet information, all that. That's cool, whatever. Uh, this isn't the information I need. I'm going to do domain lookup to, to kind of show you guys what I'm trying to say. But basically, this website is brand new. Okay, here we go. Boom. This is what I, what I was looking for. So this information right here, dates. This was created two days, only two days after the United States Treasury press release that Tornado Cash has been sanctioned. So in my in my opinion, what I think is the developers of this website, Void.Cash, are trying to fill in that vacuum that was left by Tornado Cash. However, they're trying to do it in a way where they're not actually replacing the service because the Tornado Cash service is still running. It has just been removed from the ClearNet. And you can access it other ways. Um, I, I'm not going to cover that because I am a U.S. citizen, and U.S. citizens who do interact or are found to be interacting with the Tornado Cash protocol, um, they could get in trouble. So um, I'm not going to show you on this video, but um, those of you who would like to, I guess, find out how to do it, you can ask me, and I can help you on like a side sidebar. But it is 12 days old. The announcement came out 14 days ago, so that's just kind of a a little bit iffy to me where they came up two days after tornado cash was pretty much sanctioned um, and just here's some more registry information um, the email was also um, 
some long string withheld for privacy. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, so the registrant organization was provided by withheld for privacy. The about section pretty much has nothing on it. Um, let me go on the Twitter. So t.me. This is the Telegram link again. I'm not even going to open it on Telegram, but there's there's literally nothing on the Telegram. You could check it out if you want to, but it doesn't have any information on there. Um, and here's some of the information on it. It's all time high and it's all time low where today nothing too crazy there I mean it is a new token so I can't hold that really against it but here on the social the social hasn't been filled in yet um, no information on the developer And I'm going to go all the way down here. So, actually, I'll just go back to the site and I'm going to open up their docs pretty much. And it was under token, I believe, for tokenomics, I think. So, down here, this last bullet here, the disclaimer the fee percentages are subject to change in order to stay up to date with our fees. Please join our Telegram channel where we will notify in advance of any and all changes. To me, that is a red flag because the smart contract code, what that tells me is the code itself is still under control of the person who deployed it. It is a thousand plus lines of code. I, I'm not going to read through it in this video. I'm, I'm probably not even going to read through it because I don't plan to interact with this contract. But basically what this is saying is that the developer still has influence on the code and can actually modify and change fees and that if you would like to stay up to date with what those fees are you have to follow them on telegram to me that's a red flag um tornado cash does have a telegram as well the official uh which this um protocol here is basically trying to copy but i i just think i just think that's um a red flag in itself and also this here the light paper or white paper it's literally there's literally nothing here it says simplified white paper coming soon big red flag if you're trying to scam people and and like not not um basically return on your side of the the agreement whatever that agreement is um you're not going to spend time you know typing out this big long do official looking document if you don't have to so these people pretty much just posted up this little blurb here N not speaking uh, a white paper usually we'll have like some technical details on how the protocol works and if it's a thousand plus lines of code there is some there's going to be a, a need to like kind of dumb that down and like what's what's actually going on under the hood however they don't have that instead they have simplified white paper coming soon and then they have what they call a light paper so again ethereum users do not use this protocol i think it is a scam and if you want to lose your money go ahead and use this However, if it is not a scam and I am wrong, I will gladly, you know, update this video or take it down, whatever is appropriate. But please, please do not send any money to it. And if you do send a test transaction first, just to see if you actually get it on the other side and then go from there. But personally, I would not send any money to this contract. Much love. Peace. To support this channel, please donate through Cash App, PayPal or Venmo. Donations fund the creation of new content.